it's your boy Kev and I have another video for you guys. Today, if you haven't already noticed from the title of this video, we're going to be installing a catch can on my 350Z. I put a poll on Instagram if you follow me on social media. I'll put it right here. It's VQ Kev. Make sure you follow me. And I put a poll right there to see what catch can you guys want me to put on the Z. Either open slash vented is what some call it and then the other one is closed. Some wanted the breather, but overall what I went with is the closed catch can system. And I ordered this on Amazon and I got better lines. I'll leave a link to these in the description if you guys want to get it. In total, it costed me, I want to say $44 to do this whole setup. And then I'll do a review of it to show you guys how it is. If you have a 350 or an Infiniti G35 or any car in general that's burning oil, you can try to use a catch can to try to catch some of the blow by oil that comes by make sure it's baffled it'll really help there's gonna be a lot of debate in the comment section because some are gonna be saying which one's better open or closed me since I'm in Cali and they're strict here and they're pretty anal about it I will go with the closed system so enough of that let's get to the unboxing the video then I'll let you guys know how it comes out Oh, these smells like gas. Horrible. Ugh. Yeah, it's a really strong order of gas. But yeah, I went and got the blue one so you guys can see it. It's a nice dark blue. They have a bunch of colors. On I got these on Amazon. There's the black, the aluminum silver, blue, red, and neochrome. They cost different amounts. Probably like two bucks different depending on the color you get. But yeah, this one is closed and it comes with the little meter so you can see how much oil it has. There's like the two lines right there. One saying full, one low, so you know. And this, it comes with the hardware, which is right here. Your fittings, the nipple for it. And normally it comes with these clear hoses, but these are pretty much garbage because they're super thin. And I don't think they'll be able to stand heat in the car. So I went ahead and got these, which are fuel line tubing. So these are recommended and they won't degrade. They're actually meant for what we're gonna be using it for. So there's that. So once you take this off with the Allen key wrench, you can get to the inside. And I know some of you guys are gonna say, how does the baffle look? So I'm gonna show you guys. The baffle is, I don't know if you can see it, hold on. Let me get a light on it. Put on the camera. Yeah, see, there you go. There's that baffle, that black part. There you go. It's not much, but we'll see if it gets the job done. So now once you have that, you see how the baffle looks like. It comes with the clamps that you're gonna need for the holes, but it only comes with two. So I had to run to the store real quick and buy some extra ones. The sizing, because I know you guys are going to ask, the diameter for the outside is 5 8 And I'm pretty sure this will fit the PCV valve. And if it doesn't, I'll let you guys know. So now I'm going to pop the hood and then I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so once you pop the hood, what you're going to want to do is remove the cover and the strut bar. And then from there, you can get a better angle at the PCV valve that we got to take off. And the part right here on the manifold. Okay, so give you guys time lapse. Okay guys, once you have the engine cover removed, you're going to want to unhook this part right here from the manifold. You're going to want to get pliers, unclip it, pull that hose off, and then the other hose that we got to get right here is the PCV valve. Now you have this PCV valve, and if you can see, you should have oil in here, because this is what oil is coming out of. Alright guys, so now that I have my catch count mounted, it's kind of held on with zip ties right now, but once I figure out the nice spot, I want it somewhere right here, and then I'm going to drill the holes into it to make sure it's more secure, but for right now, I'm going to just do this with zip ties for the purpose of the video. But once you have it on, my tip would be putting this on to the rubber holes is a pain in the ass, so I would loop these up. If not, you're going to have to force them. I would try to put this on first. Then you're just going to want to screw it in. 
and once you screw it in, we're going to connect the other end to the inside of the PCB. What you're going to want to do is put the other end and you're going to go in through here. So what you want to do is map out how much hose you're going to need and then from there cut it. So once you've cut down the hose with the shear, you're going to want to tighten down the hoses with using the clamps that you bought or that were provided. And I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm going to go over the next step with you guys. Get it nice and tight. I don't want this hose coming out. You want to make sure you have these hoses nice and tight because if you have them loose on any side, you could cause a leak or a vacuum leak. And that'll be really good. I mean, really bad. <laughs> because it'll cause your car to idle rough or you can have any, any other issues. So now that we have this done, this is the outside. From here, I'm gonna run it like this. I'm gonna snake it around so that it goes right into the plenum, right here. So it's gonna look like this. This side's gonna run right there. And this side, I'm gonna run right into the PCB. But before I do that, Put the clamp, push this in, just like that. And then I'm just gonna wanna tighten it. So. All right guys, so this is how our final setup the catch can went. I zip tied it for right here for right now. Got my clamps on, so this side is in. So the inside goes straight to the PCV valve, which is right here. for the angle and then the outside of the catch can go straight to the bottom side of the plenum of the lower plenum all right guys so here's the finished product of my oil catch can install thanks for tuning in make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content i'll do an update on this video later once i do my oil change to show how much oil it actually cut